Welcome to NXT The Game Season 1 Episode 19. We take off from where we left last week after the reveal of Sean X Pac Waltman being the new road agent and Triple H's best friend Scott Hall, number one contender for the NXT Championship. To face James Storm, let's get to the show. The camera picks up and finds an all black limo pulling to the NXT parking lot. Triple H steps out, followed by Scott Hall. All of a sudden, Hall does his pointing to another wrestler pose, and the camera shows shoes, then uh, uh, it cuts out. Looks like we're going to have to wait a few more minutes until we see you-know-who. Welcome to NXT. Tonight on the show, we have some huge matches. We have the Hype Bros, Mojo, Raleigh, and NXT champion Zack Ryder taking on the mechanics, with the winner getting an NXT Tag Team Championship shot on next week's Championship NXT Edition. Well, William Regal is pairing another NXT Championship match, with the Buy Try Weekly NXT TV title being defended. Who will face the TV champ? That will be decided tonight when Tommaso Ciampa and Ty Jones are the one-on-one. Plus, Baller returns to ring against Jason Jordan. Bailey and Emma square off. And in the first of six Money in the Bank qualification matches, Sami Zayn will take on the Man Beast Rhino in tonight's main event. Looks like another stack card this week at NXT, says Tom. Corey, I'll say that, Tom. Renee, let's get to the match now. Alright, so we're having a two title match next week in NXT Championship Edition of uh, the show next week. All right, and a match that has some good action with no heat. Dylan Drew defeated Ciampa in six and a half minutes by pinfall with a Heyman's neckbreaker. Gargano did good work. The clunk and the thing was good again, and the championship storyline has advanced. So it'll be Dylan Drew versus Zack Ryder next week. All right, now Enzo Mori, Colin Cassidy, and Carmelo are backstage. Enzo Mori, yo, so in a few minutes, those bros, your bros, everyone's bros, the hype bros, to take on the mechanics and the number one contendership tag team title match to see who face your boys. And next week's NXT Championship Edition. Colin Cassidy, tell them. Enzo, quite frankly, we're rooting for the hype bros. I mean, these guys are surely ain't soft. And short, frankly, we don't care who those ATTI, the ATTI graduates for you, feel me? But real talk, real talk. Enzo and Kaz are ready for whatever comes our way next week. Because, Carmelo is up. Because of the realest dudes in the room. Colin Cassidy, how you doing? The scenes fade with the crowd getting jacked up. So Enzo and Cass will take on the mechanics or... The Hype Bros next week on NXT's Championship Edition. And the camera shows Bailey getting ready in the back with her buddy Candice LeRae pumping her up. Just a little, you know, hype segment for Bailey and Candice. Next. In a match that had solid in-ring action, but no heat, the mechanics defeated the Hype Bros in six and a half minutes when Dash Wilder defeated Zack Ryder by pinfall with a full Nelson slam. Zack Ryder seems off his game tonight. I hope he's not off his game next week when he has to defend his NXT Television Championship Ty Dillinger. But looks like next week we're getting Enzo and Cass versus the Mechanics for the NXT Tag Team titles. Having just picked up the victory, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson are celebrating in the ring. So, the Mechanics versus Enzo and Cass. The camera now, now finds the Blake and Murphy factor backstage. Alexa, it's a joke that our names weren't even mentioned in the running to become the NXT number one contenders. We are former tag team champions, and quite frankly, we were the staple in the NXT tag team division before having lost on a pair of flukes. The fans boo. Alexa, quite frankly, a damn shame that we were overlooked, but that's not what's important at this very moment. It's not like we can do anything about it right now. Blake and Murphy look upset, but agree. Blake, that's right, Alexa. Murphy, you see it's one thing to look past us at this very moment. Can't do anything about it, but you're not looking past Alexa. That's right, says Alexa, because at this moment I'm throwing my hat into the ring. Throwing my hat into the NXT World Championship ring. The fans boo. Looks like Alexa's, uh, Alexa's making her contention and de desire known to be the NXT Women's Champion. In an extremely short match, Bayley defeated Emma in three minutes when Emma was disqualified with Dana Brooke and Emma, um, Gail Kim ran in. So basically, the Emma, Dana Brooke, Gail Kim storyline of, you know, thwarting Bayley's attempts continues so just interference Bailey gets the victory but really it was because of Emma's you know disqualification next the camera shows Samoa Joe and Apollo Crews just laughing and talking backstage though we can't hear what they're talking about it's meant to show the unity among the NXT face faces so basically just Joe and Apollo Crews hanging out giving us a little insight to what the NXT faces do together In an extremely short match, Finn Balor defeated Jason Jordan in four minutes with the coup de grace followed, following botched interference from Chad Gable. So basically, Finn Balor getting back on the winning track. Jordan with his first high-profile singles match. Gable interfering unsuccessfully. 
The camera finds Tyler Breeze now backstage with Eva Marie. Hoorah, hoorah for Sami Zayn, keeper of NXT Records, the man who was solely responsible for Prince Pretty Me, Tyler Breeze, losing his first match in months on NXT. Breeze pouts for the camera. You see, Sammy, I get it. You couldn't beat me fairly at NXT TakeOver Glory, so why not? So why not just be a solo leader, a cheapskate, an uggo? Eva Marie, you see, Sammy, winning is something Tyler takes very seriously. Not only did he cost Tyler his winning streak, but now I'm looking at the official scorebook has an L next to his name. Tyler looks very upset. And the king of Cuteville doesn't like L's anywhere near him. Mark my word, Sammy, says Tyler. I will get even. It may not be tonight, it may not be next week, but I will get even. The scene fades with Eva Marie and Tyler Breeze vowing revenge on, Ty and on Sammy Zane. Scott Hall's theme now hits for the first time since he came in second knee on the ramp and Triple H is behind him. The camera briefly sneaks a peek at William Regal on the other feed, who's watching what's going on at the corner of his eyes. The camera then quickly peeks around to a pissed off looking Cowboy Jim Storm, walking, pacing through the backstage area. The camera now shifts to the main feed as Hall has entered the ring with Triple H. No reason to wait, ladies and gentlemen, to the point, your number one contender, Sean X Pac Waltman! The fans begin to clap respectfully in the legend's appearance and then get a get into it a bit as Xbox theme hits and he makes his way on his ramp. He slides into the ring and Hall hugs in Triple H. So not a great rating for a uh, Pox gimmick, the degenerate gimmick, whatever. Alright. What's up NXT says Waltman? You know Hunter put it, what's the point of him to run things if you can't have a good time with your friends? And boy Pac is ready to have a good time. The fans cheer some more. When Scott sent me the contract, it was signed under 15 seconds flat. I can honestly say that I wasn't aware as for an NXT title shot, but I thought it was being able to work in front of all you great fans and hang out with my boys. This causes Triple H and Hall to smile. Well, that was good enough for me. Road agent, wrestler, whatever is needed. The fans cheered. Waltman continues. From the bottom of my heart, boys, thank you for the opportunity to work for NXT. Thank you for the chance to be a wrestler again on the big stage. And thank you for the shot of a lifetime. Thank you for the shot I am being given to become the NXT Waltman's interrupted as NXT champion James Storm has now shown up on the ramp to a chorus of boos. What am I witnessing here? A click reunion? Asked Storm. Well, that's all well and good, but Waltman, boy, will you just pass your expiration date, son? Storm says to the fans really let him have it. Hell, says Storm, spinning off on the stage. You just skipped it a chance of being the best thing in professional wrestling. Gifted, James. I've been in the business for years, over 25 years. Storm, I could care less how long you've been in the wrestling for Sean Hill. The only time I like to use when Razor put you in that diaper, says Storm picking at an embarrassing match from back in the day. But I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Glad you're having some fun, but sorry about your goddamn luck, because the belt is mine and ain't nobody taking it. The scene ends with Storm leaving. The click basically they're going to pander to the crowd after this, you know, playing off the coolness, but James Storm just came out and basically said, that's fine and well that you're, you know, getting a title shot, but uh, don't expect to win. So, a little match building for our evolution. Renee Young. Now with the video feed. And next week, it will be the live NXT Championship Edition. Two NXT Championships will be on the line. We found out earlier that Ty Dillinger, have defeating Tommaso Ciampa, will take on Zack Ryder for the television championship. And clips played from the tag team title victory this week for the mechanics. And next week, we're also going to see the NXT Tag Team Champions of Enzo Moore and Colin Cassidy with Carmella take on the number one contenders, the mechanics, and Scott Dawson and Das Wilder. Corey Graves, two huge title matches on next week's championship edition. Tom Phillips. And we also get the Sunny Money, second Money in the Bank qualifier. Corey Grace, massive week, Tom, massive. So basically, just hyping next week's main event. All right, and the match that has some good action, but now the major heat. Rhino defeated Sami Zayn in 15 minutes with a pile driver after a distraction from Eva Marie. During the Marie match, we had Tyler Breeze run in and attack Sami Zayn. The ring announcer announces Rhino the winner, and having announced the NXT Takeover R Evolution Money in the Bank qualifying match, Rhino. Tyler Breeze can be heard screaming from ringside. I told you I'd get even. Ha ha ha. I told you. I told you. I'll go. I guess maybe. Yes, maybe it was tonight. Not next week. Not next month. Tonight. Tyler. Tyler got even. Rhino now has walked past Tyler Breeze and Eve Marie raising his hand in victory. Yes, a distraction to end it, but Rhino had fought excellent. Tyler and Eve who began to make out right on the foot of the ramp. Look at Sami Zayn. And Zayn hits the mat as NXT split shot Zayn and Breeze. As NXT ends, Rhino is now officially qualified for the Money in the Bank match, and Tyler Breeze and Eva Marie have just got an even and screwed Sami Zayn. All right, so that was NXT uh, wrestling this week. Next week we're gonna have NXT the Championship Edition, and it's so funny as I've mentioned, folks. Actually, this is my best rating ever, a 62. That is fantastic. Increased in 20 losses and one. 
I told you guys last week I was one or two points below all my storyline rating minimum minimums, and I guess I went like above them. But it's just so funny how being one or two points below 53 can sink you, you know, sink you to 10 popularity points in different regions. Anyways, this was season one, episode 20. Next week on the next team, we will have the championship edition, which I'm looking very much forward to. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to try to get another one up tonight, and I'm having a lot of fun. Feedback is always welcome and always requested if possible. Thanks, everybody.